Hey, so I know that everyone's been talking about the newest, you know, ASBR show, the one with Rohan and Koichi talking to each other about the game. That show was actually really cool, and I recorded a video reacting to it, but unfortunately, there wasn't much that really got me super excited about that trailer, except for, you know, being able to see that Poochie's GHA now seals your meter. And there's a couple other things like seeing Caesar actually move because I've been waiting for that Caesar trailer for a minute. But there wasn't really a lot of stuff that, you know, got me talking. You know, there was also the fact that they didn't show off any lobbies in the little online section. That was slightly disappointing. Also, the fact that you can still see your opponent's win-loss record before you boot into a match. So that's actually going to be kind of annoying because, yeah, like people were actually ducking me in the beta because they could actually see my record or they were just one and done and that was it after seeing my record which was yeah it was really annoying but i still have the reaction on my channel so i guess if you guys really want to see it let me know but i'm probably not going to drop that video instead i want to talk about this i want to talk about these patch notes dude that they actually dropped on the u.s side right i actually recorded a video looking at the european site but honestly i think it's more worth it to look at the american site and there's also some other things that happened after the trailer came out that i actually want to talk about also, we're getting really close to the release of ASBR. If you guys are watching and aren't subscribed, I would appreciate it. Obviously, a like on the video would be great. Let me know if that new trailer actually got you more excited or you're about the same. Because me personally, I'm about the same. But let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about these taunt changes. So the frequency of taunt and effect while the opponent is down. Change the frequency of taunt to once per match. When the taunt is activated, the reduction of the opponent's HH gauge is changed from 0.1 gauge to 1 gauge. Note. The opponent's HH gauge can only be reduced once per match. At the top of the page, it also says that a lot of this came from the feedback from the survey. So that's actually pretty cool that they actually listened to what people had to say about the survey. However, what made them want to change taunts in this way? Like, were people in the survey talking about how taunt was useless or they wish it could be used more? Because honestly, I think the taunt is fine. Like these animations, there are some really long animations and really long taunt lines, right? Like I don't want to be having to listen to this all the time, right? So I don't know if people, I don't know, want to listen to it more. Like I don't know what people were complaining about in the survey in regards to taunts in order for CyberConnect 2 to go and make this change. Because I thought that the way that taunts worked already were fine. You know, they were basically useless. But I mean, taunts in fighting games, for the most part, have always been useless. The only ones that I could really think of that are actually useful are like Third Strike, you know, with uh, Q. And then sometimes like some characters taunts actually give them more damage. That's literally all I could think about. But in ASBR, they were pretty much useless. And I was fine with them being useless. The only thing that I would have wanted to have seen change is how many taunts you could actually do in a match. Because there, at launch, there's actually going to be some people that are going to troll. They're just going to go for a hard knockdown every time, hit you with like the longest taunt in the game, and rinse and repeat, it's going to get really annoying, right? That's what I wanted to see change. But the fact that they actually made taunt usable, like an actual strategy where you could only be done once per match, I think it's an interesting change, you know? And the one thing that I do want to know is how often, like, can you still do more than one taunt per match? You know what I mean? Because it does say change the frequency of taunt to once per match. So can you literally only taunt once per match? That's something that I want to know. This is actually interesting for characters that have taunt combos. Because for those that didn't play vanilla, you could actually restand the opponent with a taunt. And if you place a special move over the opponent while they're down, it actually restands them into a special move. And that was only once per round. So if taunts are going to be changed to once per match, then that means that taunt combos literally just got nerfed because you could only do them once per match. So yeah, this change is interesting. Let me know what you guys think about this. So this is actually the reason why I wanted to take a look at this again as opposed to you know just uploading whatever i had already recorded because of this right here frequency of assist attack changed assault assist and reversal assist as individual uses with a certain number of uses per round so i'm pretty sure what this means is that offensive assist and reversal assist are their own thing like they're going to be their own thing in the ui right which I think is better, but we'll see how it actually plays out. Because again, like they don't really show us an example of how it is. And the build that we had at EVO actually didn't have this change. So we're probably going to have to wait until the game comes out or until somebody plays the game before it comes out. And then it actually shows us what this means. But I think this is definitely like a change. It's a big change. Because yeah, before, since it wasn't split, all everybody would do is just save up their assist and then just you pick a three bar combo or sorry, pick a three bar assist and then just combo break for, you know, those three hits because that was honestly the best strategy. Why would you pick any other assist? Maybe now if you pick a weaker assist, you get more combo breakers. I'm not too sure how this change actually works. However, the change is still very much welcome because honestly, I would take any form of like system changes over what we had before. Like the Evo demo, as fun as it was in parts, it was rough 
to watch at times, especially seeing how many times people pick the same assist or the same character and then just would combo break for a majority of their matches. Now onto the final two changes, right? This is number three. This is something that I think is really, really important for the game. So added a new function for practice mode. Planning to add a function to record opponent's movements and make it able to retry specific character position. So this is big for like Cyber Connect 2 games, right? It, this shouldn't be something big because this feature has been in fighting games for what? A long time? Again, to go back to Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3, that game came out 11 years ago and it has that. You know what I mean? That game's old. So in fighting games, this is nothing new, but for Cyber Connect 2 games, this is something new. And it's obviously very welcome. Like I'm shitting on it, but it's still very, very, very welcome. You know, a big problem with vanilla ASB was the fact that the training mode was so bad. I even made an entire video on it. If you want to check it out, check it out in the description. I'll have it linked. Like it got to the point where in order to test situations, you literally had to test them out mid-match because the training mode was so bad. And here's the other thing too, right? They actually don't specify if there's a retry button because in, what's that game called? Demon Slayer? I don't know if Demon Slayer has a retry button, but the retrying in that game is so fast. It's so much faster compared to ASBR, dude. So hopefully they speed that up and actually add a retry button. But actually being able to retry in specific positions is cool. You can actually practice like wall specific combos because ASB and ASBR actually do have combos that only work at the wall and some characters that or sorry, only some combos that work mid screen. So that's actually really dope. I didn't think they were honestly ever going to add that, but that's honestly super, super sick. And obviously now we could actually test out situations by having the ability to record opponents like movements and actually be able to record, you know, what is unsafe? Can we actually see what's unsafe? When can USD in the middle of this block stream? Just stuff like that. That's, it's a very much welcome change, dude. This is honestly like really, really sick. Now, all I want to know is, like I said earlier, are we actually going to get a retry button? Can you make it L3 and R3, please? That's another change that would be very much welcome because I do not want to press start and then hit X every single time I drop my combo. <laughs> yeah, if you guys do want to see how bad the original training mode was, uh, check out the video in the description. It was terrible, dude. So the last thing, right? Unfortunately, it's very vague but we have other game balance adjustments. I actually don't think any of the characters in the beta should get nerfed at all. This could honestly mean anything. It could just mean everybody gets nerfed, everybody gets buffed, some characters get nerfed, some characters get buffed, or just one character gets buffed and no one else gets nerfed, which is what I'm hoping for. Because as fun as the beta was, right, I didn't think any characters were super broken, you know? Like if you watch some of my videos, like there is like stuff that you can actually do about the the options that the characters have. Like with Dio's uh, TK Mudas, just block, or you could just SD on wake up and then just get out of it for free, you know? Or with Jonathan's damage, like some of that damage actually requires skill, positioning, so it's not completely broken. The only thing that was broken, I guess, were some of the Muda assists or the Aura assists, you know? Like Giorno's assist during the Evo demo was stupid, like it was really, really good. And it's the same thing with Jotaro's uh, assist during the beta. It was really, really good. Why would you pick any other assist? So maybe they'll touch up on assist because as of right now, assist is the only thing that I could see genuinely get buffed and nerfed. As for characters though, I don't know who they would actually, like I said, I don't know who they would actually nerf. No one, I don't think anyone deserves to get nerfed. The only character that I think deserves or needs to be changed is probably just Jolene. Just make her a bit better here. <laughs> and hardly anybody played her, so maybe she is really, really good, but that's honestly the only character that I could see that genuinely needs to get buffed. And buff her assist too. Why is her assist only two stocks? Also, this new system change with assist only being able to be like performed, potentially only being able to be performed once per match. Yeah, like her assist got even worse because now you can't even use it for any taunt combos or you can only use it once per match, you know? And you're going to have four of these things, so... Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty interesting change. We'll see how that has actually plays out. But some of these changes I think are interesting. Some of them I think are weird. Like the, the taunt feature I just think is really weird. Like I'm curious how that's actually going to play out. And it's kind of vague in regards to how many taunts we're actually going to get in a match. But if we do get an update on how many times you can actually taunt in a match, I'll actually let you guys know. Because that's something that I'm really curious about as well. You know, assist getting touched up, I think is a cool change. We'll see how it actually plays out whenever the game comes out. But I think this system could potentially be better than what we have right now, because what we have right now is just not good. Assists are fun to mess around with. They're actually fun. I actually like it. I like the cooldown system. Whenever you use the assist in neutral, it comes back right away. Whenever you use the, or sorry, whenever you use the assist 
in the middle of a block string or in the middle of a combo, it comes back slower. And then when you combo break, it comes back like OD slow. That was all good until you actually get to the combo breaker part and it just ruins it. So I'm pretty sure I would take any change as opposed to what we have now. The new functions in practice mode are really, really sick. If CyberConnect2 actually wants to take this game to like another level or make it more competitive, just keep adding more stuff to the training mode. If you really wanted to, you could try to add frame data. I don't know if this game would ever add frame data, but you could try that. You could also add the ability to let us, you know, customize character resources. Like whenever you hit retry, let us start the match with Johnny I4 as opposed to having to whiff his uh, level two super every single time you want to go into that. Let us adjust Joseph's scarves again. Watch the video in the description if you want to know my thoughts on that. As for the balance changes, we unfortunately didn't get to see anything in regards to what they're going to do. You know, we just know that stuff is going to get buffed and stuff could potentially get nerfed. And I'm curious to see how that's actually going to play out whenever the full game comes out. And CyberConnect2, do not nerf those Jotaro launch combos. They're mad tight. They're meterless. They build a decent amount of bar and they're mad cool. Just no one did them except for me and a couple other people. Do not nerf those. But yeah, guys, these are my full thoughts on these patch notes. You know, big ups to the people at Ben and Emco for actually releasing this instead of just staying, like, you know, completely quiet and releasing this newest trailer, which I thought it was good. It was a good trailer. But it didn't really get me too excited because a lot of the stuff, you know, we already knew about. But it was still cool. You know, these patch notes actually got me excited. They actually made me happy. But we're going to have to wait for the game to come out to actually see, you know, what's going on with this. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought about the trailer. Let me know what you thought about the patch notes. Let me know if you actually think that, you know, the taunts should have gotten changed. Let me know what characters you actually want to see buffed or nerfed. I'm curious to see what people actually thought of, you know, the beta and what characters were super overpowered. Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys later.